Wow, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. it's Katie and welcome back to my vlog channel or welcome if you're new I am sorry if this is your first video on my channel I don't know it's an interesting video to be your first video but I have several other vlogs on my channel if you would like to have that be your first video but today's video is I don't even know what today's like obviously I know what today's video is going to be because the title but I don't know what it's going to be if that makes any sense like I'm not even sure what I'm going to say I literally have no plan for today's video I know what it entails but I also don't know what I'm going to say and it's just one of those things and stuff I know in my last video that I posted which was weeks ago I said that I would be doing like an update of why I have been vlogging or I would get back to vlogging and I tried that two weeks ago. I tried to vlog, I started the vlog, and then I never finished it. Like I only had a couple clips and I was like, nope, not posting this, which I do sometimes. Like if I'm not happy with the footage and I literally had no footage, I bagged it and stuff. But as you know, by the title, <sighs> my dog, my sweet baby beagle, Skoda has passed away. I probably will cry in this video because you know this is gonna happen but I did want to sit down and make this video because I don't know just talking about like stuff like this does make me feel better and I did post about it a lot on Instagram stories Instagram and everything so I did post about it a lot online and that really did help me when it was fresh to talk about it but yeah um as you know by the title um Skoda passed away and I tried making this video um a week ago when it was very fresh and it did not turn out well. Just miss him so damn much. <laughs> I keep thinking about how he would like put his nose against my door and cry while I was sleeping and just jump up on the bed and lay next to me. And I wake up and he would just wag his tail. Just feel so empty while So it, um he has been gone for ten days. He passed away on June twenty seventh, twenty twenty, and yeah, I am crying and this is real and I don't even care because I most likely will keep this as unedited as possible but I know a lot of you guys who've been following me for years loved Skoda and of course I did too oh my god I'm crying so I did want to kind of make this video just for myself but also for everyone that loved him as well because I know there's so much love for him out there and this is why I did not put on makeup yet I put on my primer but that's pretty much it I just prepped my skin because I knew I was gonna cry and stuff um I don't even really know how to talk about this so if you didn't know i had a beagle named skoda i'll put a picture of him on the screen he was literally he was literally my best friend which might sound crazy but if you don't have a dog but if you don't have a dog you might not understand that like when people say that a dog is your best friend it's honestly so true we got skoda when i was 12 12 years old i was in the sixth sixth grade and and now i'm 24 years old and he literally lived through all the important parts of my life he he was with me through middle school junior high high school high school graduation college from graduating with my aa to now i am almost done graduating with my bachelor's degree which is exciting he basically lived through my graduation because technically i am graduated even though i didn't finish my degree quite yet i'm on my last class which is exciting and stuff i can't wait for it to be over and he pretty much helped me get through my last semester of college like my last legitimate semester like the spring semester the covid semester i like to call it and he really helped me with that he's just been with me throughout all the important parts of my life and if you haven't seen my pet tag with skoda from on my main channel i did that literally years ago um i'll link it down below it's like i watched it back recently and it brought back so much Emotion, clearly, I did not think I would cry this much in this video, but you know, it's happening and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. It's like one of my favorite older videos and stuff like that. I think he was like seven or eight when I did that video and Skoda was with me through the start of my channel. I start, I had Skoda. 
Skoda and Cooper when I started my channel and Cooper's just chilling back there. We got Skoda when I was 12 and stuff. So he passed away when he was like 12 and a half. He would have been 13 in September about. We don't know when his birthday was because we got him when he was six months old. We adopted him and stuff. And you want to hear about his kind of story through that. I talked about it in his pet tag. So I'll link it down below. But like I said, like I'm just always finding that I'm reminiscing on like just when we got him. I remember when we got him, Um, I knew about that we were get getting him because my mom told me. She didn't tell my brother because he always wanted a beagle and she didn't want him to be crushed if the family didn't, didn't like go through with it and stuff. So she told me days before and then the lady did end up changing her mind, but then she changed her mind again. And I'm so happy she did because I couldn't imagine my life without Skoda. So I'm really happy that Skoda became part of our family and just such an important part of our lives. And and he was always so healthy. Our last dog Bert, prior to Skoda, which was Skoda's, um, they lived together. So Skoda's like, Skoda's brother. He had like a lot of health issues. So Skoda was our, probably our healthiest dog we've ever had and stuff. And I don't even know where this video is going, but I'm just talking, you know, and stuff. So he was very healthy. And then I don't know when this sort of thing happened. I think it might've been in January. He had to get, I think it was January. Maybe it was August of last year. I can't remember but he had to get some dental surgery done because he cracked one of his teeth and stuff like that so they wanted to either remove the tooth or take the tooth out I can't remember and stuff and they I was at school when this happened so he went in to get his surgery or whatever and I wasn't there so obviously I didn't know this at the time my mom told me after but my mom had texted me saying that Skoda didn't get his surgery something happened but she would tell me about it later and this kind of leads to something this isn't like not like prevalent to the story. But she told me that later that um, when they tried doing the dental surgery, and this was months and months ago, so this has nothing to do. Well, it's correlated to why, like his death, but not really. So when they went to do the surgery, he like lost, his heartbeat on the table or something like that like he was he wasn't he was like losing i don't know like he was just his heart was going out while they were trying to put him under basically so mom told me that so they didn't end up doing the surgery obviously because they knew it wasn't safe and stuff so he never got his tooth fixed and stuff like that and so um they wanted us to do like further testing because they figured he had like an arrhythmia or something along the lines of that so um, we didn't actually end up getting the testing done and stuff just because, I don't know, it just never ended up working out, um, and stuff. So we never actually ended up getting the testing, but he was also 12 years old at this point. So honestly, putting a, like, all we could have done is put a pacemaker in a almost 13 year old dog. Ironically, Skoda would always have these, like, spills. He, it'd be usually when we're eating dinner, he'd be standing by the table and he would just, he would just, like, f almost fall asleep and fall over. We always saw he was just falling asleep standing up and he would, like, trip or he'd, like, stumble. But and then it ended up that we figured out, well, through the vet, we figured out that his heart rate was very low. Your heart rate for a dog is pretty similar to a human where it should be above 100. And his was about 40, which is extremely low. But he's also older, so there wasn't really much we could do about it. But we knew that he could, like, have a cardiac event and his heart could arrest. So I don't remember, like, when the timeline of when and he had the surgery or his failed surgery I guess I could call it between that and then to present day but um he would always have his spells but he would always be okay and for me I'd like to say I'm the closest person to him so for me just thinking about even before any of this happened like the arrhythmias that kind of stuff happened I was always nervous about him passing away it was just something it was just something I always thought about because I was always away at school so I didn't want him to pass away and then me not be able to say goodbye to him it was just really hard it was just so hard for me I was relieved not because of Skoda, but I was relieved when I get to, I got to come home early this semester. I got to come home before my spring break in March. I actually was on my spring break and I didn't end up going back to school, which was kind of a blessing in disguise. Obviously, I wouldn't, nobody wanted COVID to happen because it has killed so many people. But for a lot of us, it was a blessing in disguise because I got to spend so much time with Skoda. And I never knew that like June 27th, 2020 would be the day I would, I would have to say goodbye to him. So 
so it's not like I knew. And honestly, like a lot of people say this, they would like to know when somebody they know dies or they like to know when they die. But like, honestly, I wouldn't because then I would be pre preparing for that moment. But honestly, I'm not gonna give the details, like super details about his death because obviously like I don't owe that to anybody, but I will talk about it briefly. So honestly, looking back the week of his death, like the week leading up to his death was very like the way he was acting was kind of like it was odd or out of the ordinary but it was kind of interesting to look back on because that whole week he followed me around everywhere everywhere i went he went like i would go upstairs and he'd be right there with me and stuff and when i was filming that week when i did film because i hadn't been filming that much he was always like on my bed while i was filming or doing whatever and he was just with me so looking back that really made sense to me that he was just always with me he was always wanting to be next to me that week which makes a lot of sense because he could have known that he might have only had a few days left or he could have known that he was gonna that his time was gonna come up which sounds so weird but it was other than that it was a pretty normal week he was acting fine he'd have a few spells but it was nothing like the spells were something that was very normal. I really never thought anything of it. We did try a medication that was supposed to like higher his heart rate and we had to take like his, we had to take his heart rate. We bought a steth so stethoscope off Amazon so we could do that. And, but the medication we ended up stopping it um, once we ran out of it because it really didn't help that much. I don't even think it made his heart rate stronger, which it's one of those things where it could work, it could not. But leading up to Saturday, he did. The only thing that sucked is we were getting a new fence at the time and stuff. Our fence is done now. It's been done for about a week now. So he couldn't go outside and just like do his thing. Like he loved laying out on the deck and he couldn't do that. And they took forever to do our fence. And I was kind of like mad because I was like, oh my God, he would have loved this new backyard and stuff. He would have loved it and stuff. And he didn't really get to lay out in the sun like alone in his last week. Um, so it was kind of hard to think about, but leading up to that Saturday, um, he did, I, like, he did all the things he loved. He hung out with me, he ate all his meals, he never s missed a meal in his whole life. He was still getting on the table like he did, and he was doing everything that he loved to do. And Saturday, we're doing all our things, so I was kind of out of the house, in the house, and stuff, so I didn't get to spend too much time with him. I did spend time with him, but not too much. I remember, I think I was editing or something. Something and he was on my bed with me and it was in the afternoon and stuff and I didn't get to take a picture because he moved before I got the chance but he was just kind of chilling with me and I love that and stuff because he was my buddy he really was my buddy and then we ate dinner he kind of just watched over us as we ate as usual and then i went upstairs it's usually what i went af usually after dinner i would go upstairs and i would kind of do my own thing and stuff and he was up there and then he was down here and cooper was with me in my bed then cooper wanted to get out and i kind of chilled in my room for a little bit more then i wanted to take off my makeup so i tried i went to take off my makeup but my mom was in my bathroom so i couldn't and at this point cooper was acting really strange he was on our stairs i'll insert a picture right now and at the moment i was like what are you doing like i thought he was just sitting there waiting for me but he was just sitting on the stairs and staring down which was very odd to me at the time but i didn't think anything of it i was just like oh he's just wanting me to come out of my room and go downstairs and like give him a treat or something. So I came down here, I got a treat and I I got Cooper a treat. I kind of brought it into the living room and it was really dark in here. It was pitch black. It was like 9.30 something at night and Skoda looked like he was sleeping because it was pitch black in here. He just looked like he was sleeping. He looked so peaceful. So I got out my phone and tried taking a picture of him and stuff. And in the picture, I never, I didn't know when I was taking the picture that he had our he passed away so then i got closer to him and i put my hand on him i didn't think i would cry this much oh my god and i put a hand my hand on him and typically when i put my hand on him he would like he would open his eyes or he'd lift his head and so i put my hand on him and he didn't move so i so i immediately freaked out and i told my dad I, I literally yelled and I said, Skoda's not moving. I'm freaking out. And so my dad's like, what? And I'm like, Skoda's not moving. I'm literally freaking out. And I start sobbing in our dining room, just standing like 
probably three feet away from him. And so my dad comes running in here. He kind of lifts him up a little bit to like feel his pulse or his heart rate or something. And he's like, he's gone. And Cooper would just come in here and he would be pacing. And he did go over to Skoda and sniff him and lick him. And that was like the sweetest thing ever. And honestly, I thought like seeing him like that would be so hard. But he was literally on, right here on that couch. And that was his favorite spot. And I remember looking at him, just sitting next to him, petting him. And just telling him that I loved him. And that he would be with his brother. I don't really know why I wanted to make this video. But I guess I did want to like just talk about this. So I could go, go on with vlogging eventually. And honestly, this video has been a lot harder than I expected it would be to make. And it has only been 10 days. So it is still very fresh. But I honestly didn't think it would still be this hard to talk about. <sighs> but also part of me knows that talking about this is helpful. And I know I'll look back on this video and be like. And I will kind of be like. I might think this is ridiculous, but you know, I've seen a lot of videos like people talk about this on YouTube and it's crazy to me because a lot of times, especially in the first week, and I know it's only been 10 days, but in the first week I was always like, where's Skoda? Then I remembered, oh, Skoda's in heaven. And that was always hard because even now, like I can still like sometimes hear noises and I think that's him, which is hard. And Cooper has been so chill. Usually he would wake me up every morning, come in my bed, and he hasn't been doing that recently um, and stuff. And well, Cooper's been really chill. He hardly even barks. The only time he barks is when he hears something. But I definitely think Cooper's like going through something as much as we are and stuff. And obviously this is very hard, but I I know that Skoda and I will be reunited one day again. And that this is just, this isn't goodbye. This is a see you later. But yeah, I have made a memorial video for him. I've also posted things about him and stuff. And I really appreciate the support of everyone and stuff. Everyone who gave me their condolences. It really means a lot to me. This has been really hard. And just seeing those has really warmed my heart. Honestly, I, and I forgot the first few condolences when I posted about it on my Instagram. I literally started crying because I was like, wow. I can't believe that I have the support. Um, and stuff and I know Skoda appreciates it as well and I did post a memorial on his Instagram so I'll link it down below it's an IGTV and stuff and it's like among all my favorite moments of him a lot of them and some of them are from vlogs some of them are from other things and stuff like that and I know we're getting to the 30 minute mark of this video so I'm going to try and wrap this up but if I, I can't really express what else I want to say or like everything Skoda meant to me because I've Obviously, he meant everything to me. He was my best friend. He was my buddy. He was everything. And I miss like holding him and I miss just all the little things he would do. But I know over time this will get easier and obviously I will still readily miss him. I miss him so much. I just miss having him around. And we wanted him so bad to get to his 13th birthday, which would have been on our designated day, which is um September 28th. Um and stuff. We wanted him to get to that day so bad and stuff. But he lived over 12 and a half years and that's everything and yeah so and yeah so i miss skoda so much i love you so much skoda and i want to thank you guys for all your support thank you so much for you stuck around to this video thank you so much for watching this i know this was quite an emotional video i didn't expect how emotional this would be but yeah thank you everyone for tuning into this video and stuff like that i'm gonna try and vlog very soon and post vlogs if you have any ideas for vlogs i should do vlogging has been really difficult i am taking class right now and i'm trying to get my life together and my life is kind of in a mess and it was a mess way before all this happened um but i'm trying to get my life together at least a little bit but i appreciate all the support and everything please subscribe if you haven't already i promise i don't cry in every single video and if you want to write messages to skoda feel free to do that in the comments it might be weird but you know i don't think it's weird and yeah so thank you everyone for watching and i will see you in my next vlog bye Rest in peace, baby boo.